So a really common condition that we see here is a, what we call a hammer toe deformity. And what a hammer toe deformity is, is when we get a contracture of the toe at the metatarsal phalangeal joint, which is right here where the foot meets the, the toe. And what happens is the toe is contracted at this joint, you know, what we call a dorsal or a position that's going up, and then it's contracted here at this joint going down. So you get a toe that looks like this. The way that we resolve that is through a minimally invasive technique, which is really phenomenal because we can correct this with just two to three little pinpoint incisions. We don't have to cut into the joint. We don't have to put any pins or screws in the, in the foot. All we do is make a little tiny pinpoint incision here to release the soft tissues at the top of the joint to let it come down. And then right here at the bottom of this joint, a very small incision to release those soft tissues to let it come up. And then if there's any deformities that remain in this plane through a little incision here, I can make a little tiny cut in the bone, again, avoiding the joint and position that toe exactly where we want it. And then once it's straight, we can splint that in its corrected position until it heals up. Some of the problems that people have with this deformity are either going to be pain up at the top of the joint where it's rubbing on their shoe or pain at the tip of the toe because of the way that the toe hits the ground. Another very common problem that we see especially in diabetics with hammer toes is the fact that right here at the very end they'll develop an ulcer or a wound because they're walking on the tip of that toe. And I've seen multiple times over the years where people come in with ulcers that have been open for months if not years and with a very simple procedure we can take that toe and straighten it and not only make the toe straight but resolve an ulcer that's been present for months.